Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Tropico 6. We need to produce a thousand corn, have a corn plantation, and accept within yada yada yada. Right, so we want, at the moment, what's that? What's going on? Oh, it's just, it's just clouds in the distance. Uh, we need to have a corn plantation. I'm thinking uh, over this side is the best point, uh, best uh, point, best place to put such things. So we want to go to food and resources, logging, fisherman, plantation over here. Uh, she said it's corn plantation. And if we have a look around, we ain't got very good land. We ain't got very good land at all here, mateys. Right. Well, as we've got rather poor quality land, we will just make do over here. So I'm going to bring that one. That one is, if I go over this way, I'm going to lose a bit of land. I lose one tiny corner if I put it there. That's going to, that's sort of making the best use of it. I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to put it down there. Right. So you do, you need a road. You need to be connected with the road, and that road is going to go here, and it's going to destroy the shanty town that is building up on top of it. So we're going to go, and we're also going to build residential. We're going to put a couple of extra bunk houses down here. Uh, press shift when I do it, and I can build extra ones. Can I build? Can I fit a bunk house in there? I cannot. I can fit a bunk house up at this end. So I'm going to stuff one there into the corner like that. So it's go. nice yeah. to have choices, isn't it? Choices like continue as governor or begin a new career in manual labor. We got Lord Roger Wyndham again. We got to get rid of this moron. I don't like him. I'm sure you would like your situation to remain as it is, so please don't forget which side your bread is buttered and who gave you the butter. Right, so we've got to do a crown trade route. we got coffee, cotton, gold, sugar, or tobacco. We are going to go for coffee, I think. So we need to build a coffee plantation alongside our corn plantation. That's fine. We can. I'm going to build a load of plantations over here. So sign the coffee contract there. I'm not going to sign any more for a minute. Uh, I've got a plantation there, so I'm going to build a second plantation now. Food and resources, I'm going to go with the plantation over here. So that's corn. I want a coffee plantation there. Uh, rotate that one round, and yes, it's going to be pretty poor quality land that I'm building this one on, but it's going to be fine. Uh, efficiency 22%, 24%. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty poor land. There isn't really a great deal that I can do about that. So I'll put that one into there. And then I'm also going to build another house. Go to a bunk house. And I'm going to put that one down over there. Then we're going to go back and not in entertain. Actually, yeah, we ought to do some entertainment a minute. We will put in one of these over here so that there's some entertainment available and then we're gonna go to uh industry food and resources again at ranch this time and we're gonna start off with just a cattle ranch now the thing with the cattle ranch is that it does have if i rotate that one around and i put that one actually, you know what we're not gonna do that if i was to put that one Facing that direction, I'll put one there. I need to have another one over here, so how far back can that one go? Efficiency, 0%. They are 0% all the way through. Can I seriously not have any of them? Invalid, it, it, not, can, well, sheep. Oh, right. So, we can have some. We can have cattle ranches. They don't work. I can have sheep ranch. Crocodile ranch, not so good. Pig ranch. Okay, that's perfect placing for pig ranches up there. So, I'm going to put that one back here. That's 41% right there. 
Llama. Over here, it goes up to like 49. Goat Ranch. That's spot on. Perfect. Look, we'll put that one in there. So we're going to have a Goat Ranch to start with. And I put one there. I'm going to build another ranch as well. And that one... I'm thinking also, we don't want sheep, no. We'll do a second goat ranch for now, and that one is going to go into there on that side. Bring that one up by one like that. So we have two of those in there, and then we will build a road that comes out from there. Then this road is going to go up this way like that, and it's also going to go down that way. And then right the way along the front down there. So that there is room to put something over this way if we want to. So I've got a whole load of construction going on over there. Yes, it's not ideal sort of pushing ahead with construction like that. Uh, but I do feel that we kind of need it. So uh, we've also got to produce this corn as well, haven't we? So we've got 41,000 on there. It's, it's ticking along at the moment. So I'm just going to speed time up a little bit and see where and what we're going to be building first. I've got you over here. Under construction, quick build. Have I got construction place? I do. I have got a construction office. Right, that's okay. Building under construction. Where is the team of builders going? They're not heading over this. Ah, there they are. Team of Builders are working on the Pirate Cove. That's the bit that we want them to do first. And then they'll... I'm hoping that they will build things in the order that we've asked for them to be constructed. That's what I'm hoping. We now here. have a Pirate Cove. No, not a Pirate Coven. Sea crime and witchcraft should never be combined. <laughs> never combine <laughs> sea crime and witchcraft. Right, it is time to fill your coffers with booty. Your scurvy dog shall rove across the seven seas... Stealing pieces of eight and be home before nine for grog, ribaldry, and uh, ribaldry, I think, and a good night's rest. Have a pirate cove. So Salutations, get... Governor. Ten immigrants. Nice island you have there. Maybe a tiny bit bleak, but nothing a few throw cushions won't cheer up. You'll need to choose an industry to get started on, then ship some out to us. I admit you've not much to build on, but if you export enough, we'll give you a hand. Which do you think might work best for you? Uh, we can have new rum trade route with the crown. That one means we'd have to grow sugar. I haven't even tried that. Leather export. I've already got demands for building the goat farm, the ranches, which we should be able to turn into. The logging, I'm not really sure about. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of trees. So we will go for leather. Seems to be the best option. We need to export 200 leather. Task Let me overview. Add to your infinite wisdom, Presidente. There are too many unemployed citizens. Either there aren't enough jobs in general, or the education requirements of the jobs are too high. Make sure there are enough jobs with low education requirements. Decrease the unemployment rate to 7%. Except. Right. We will decrease unemployment rates. What is our current overrate? Uh, no. It's here. This is one. Homeless citizens. Unemployed citizens, 32. Right. We do have some rather serious issues. Excuse me. I've got the hiccups. Uh, with um, unemployment. But we can deal with that. So we've got the leather is going to be produced over here. We've got a corn plantation going to be built. We've got that one going to be built. Export leather, so that's in a trade route. Now, if we go to active trade routes, we need to buy more licenses if we want to be able to open up some more. So that one is a thousand dollars. That one is two and a half thousand. I won't buy any more. We we can have three of them open at the moment. I think that's going to be pretty good. So we've got here. I can export iron. There's loads of import stuff, and then there's a sugar one right there. The crown trade route. Cotton. I don't want cotton and sugar. I want planks. Um, fulfill export trade route with the crown. Right. 
So I've, I've got to fulfill an export trade route. New offers in 12 months. There's cotton or sugar. It's not very helpful. There were some better ones. I've already got... Well, I've got coffee right there. So I have got that one. We've got a chance of being able to do that. And this is my coffee plantation right here. So I'm going to high priority the coffee plantation there. So hopefully they will come and do that one. They're building this one over here. We've got another house there being constructed. Uh, we're going to want some more houses. But we're going to wait for that. We want the coffee plantation built first. They're not actually going into that one. They're doing the corn plantation under normal priority. And now they're coming over to this one. So I've got corn over there. She's got 44% efficiency. And then I've got the coffee plantation over here, which is 22% efficiency. Which is really, really not very good. So I'm going to increase the budget on that one. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to increase the budget on that one. We really need the efficiencies to be high on those. Uh, so I'm hoping that the workers will be able to come over and help us out. That means that we will be able to start exporting coffee. The shivering coffee. of timbers, the splicing of main braces, the rogering of jollies. Governor, the muse is with me today. I have decided to become a writer of fake pirate stories. Ah, it be a pirate's life for, well, anyone foolish enough to believe them. Please build me a library to store my literature. I anticipate having crafted at least a dozen ripping yarns by lunchtime. All right, I accept. So we need to export 200 leather, have a library, unemployment rate down, corn. We're producing corn right now. That's good. Crown trade route. We are looking at... Right, we've got that one built over there. I've got, I've got several of these built now. How are we doing here? Where, where, are, you, where are you building next? Need these dudes to come here and do the build. There's no building over there. You, you got buildings over here that I need you to work on. I, I need, I need, I need you to come and get a move on with this. We want the, the the goat thing over here going on. Wait a minute. There's another thing over here. So monoculture in here, multiculture decreases the efficiency by forty percent. Plantation does not decrease fertility over time. Gets ten percent efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with a different crop running on the same work mode. Right, so you basically, if you've got lots of them all um, pushed in together, but it operates on basics. If we got lots of them on all different ones, we offset that 40% decrease. So there's a 40% decrease, but if I have them all on multiculture and they're all working different crops... That will offset that, and then we can end up with 50 or 60 if we plan things out carefully. I don't know if I can plan things out that carefully, to be honest. So we will leave that on mono monoculture for now. Raids. We need to have a raid going. So go to the Pirate Cove. Unemployment Library Crown Trade. Does actually tell us which one to go for? I really want to do the heist, the, the, the whole Stonehenge heist thing. I'm, I'm not going to do that at the moment. Rescue any. Get more people. We don't want more people here yet. Loot, coffee, corn, and gold. I'm going to go... Wait, uh, I need... Oh, leather. I'm going to go with coffee, corn, and gold on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. And I want to go to industry, lumber mill, rum, tannery. And we're going to need to transform the skins coming off the goats into stuff to be sold. We will do that here, over on this side of the island. Right here. I'm going to bump that one right in there. Up again. That's going to be stinking in the area in there. Seriously, the, uh, a tannery absolutely reeks to high heaven. This is not a nice thing to put right behind the entertainment district. But it's close to the docks. And that's why I like it there. So we're going to put that one there. Uh, what are you? You're a bunkhouse. Teamster Port. Fisherman's Wharf. Do I need a Teamster's Office? Send to the camera. Safe load. Fisherman's Wharf. Teamster Port. Over here. Description. Transport goods. Tropicans tend to acquire lots of crates. Yada yada yada. And then this one over here, description. No goods get moved from one place to another without a Teamster's office. Organize the logistics on one island. I think I need to have 
a Teamster's office. Right, if I look in here, I got 961 corn in here, and it's not being moved. Got a thousand corn in here. I've done that one. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people will make it shine. We appreciate your help. We will work hard to improve the luster of our disobedience. If the people keep polishing, we will one day be able to see our faces in this rebellion. Do I want revolutionary immigrants or do I want money? Uh, you, let's go for people. Let's have more people. Does that actually give us more people or does it just change some of the immigrants to revolutionary? I think it changes some of them. This is still not growing. This, this is still not happening over here. I've got the tannery. That's been demanded. I've got no other buildings at the moment that... Oh, there we... Ah, now we're talking. Right, and you over there... Oh, no, you have now moved. Right, the corn has now gone out of there. Teamster port. Fisherman's Wharf. That's the port over there. I've got 500 corn over there waiting delivery. Right, so I don't need to have one of those uh, Teamster buildings on here because I've already got that one. Now, let's have a look at this. I've got Humane Exploit Work Mode in here. Pasture Prohibition. The ranch does not decrease uh, fertility in its vicinity. Decreases the efficiency by 15%. Okay, I don't want... I'm just going to leave it as it is then. Humane Exploit. It's the standard one. Oh, no, it was an upgrade, wasn't it? It was uh, efficiencies. It was an upgrade. Mechanical Milker... Cold War, Cold War, Modern Times. Well, obviously it wasn't anything to do with goats then. It was something I thought that we got to use. Maybe it wasn't the work mode or the goats. It was just neither. We, we, right. I'm going to increase the budget on the goats on here. And we're going to look in here. You are... Why? What, why, why have I got no more? Ah, I see. Right. They're now able to come in there. Another goat one over here. I'm going to increase the uh, money being paid on that one. Not changing. Oh, I wait. ask myself, Governor, do the ends justify being mean? But for independence, any sacrifice is worthwhile. Build a tavern. Zero of one, except a man in 130 days. The people have taken this to heart, constantly trying to find new ways to sacrifice to the cause. They're very inventive. Please make a sacrifice as well for the people. Right, I have accepted I need to build a tavern. I have got pirates on the way, and I've got no way of defending against pirates at the moment, I don't think. Where are these pirates? Where have they landed? A bit concerned about this. Pirates are attacking. Yeah, well, I can see where they're coming in, but... Ooh! Ah, right, is, is that pirates out there? I don't know. There's, there's Looks like there's more ships all the way out over there. But there is ah there's the pirates down there there is a thingy up on here a temple right up on top of there um and then if we look out this way what is that i can't go out that way but there's, there's something out there there's, there's more islands there's more things scattered around i need to do something to protect versus these pirates so what we will do is we'll go into here we will go to raids and military can't build a fort at the moment um engages enemy squads during military conflicts and has a chance to discover roles of passers-by provides infantry squads to, prov to fight in military conflicts engages enemy squads the one that I want there. I don't know. I've got one over there. I've already got one over there on that side. Right. So I want to put... I'm going to have to put one of these in here. We can we can stick one right in that corner there. I'm going to use that corner for anything else. So I'm plonk, plonk one of those in there. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to quick build that one. There. So I've got that bit done, and that's right next to our target as well, which happens to be now our then, old coffee. Now then, chum, how's the governing game? If you need help, I can always give you a hand. Or the boot. If you'd like more time, I can extend your mandate. In return for a lovely gift, of course. Cash only. 
Buy a mandate extension. Spend $3,000. Extend mandate by 18 months. Ah. Let's do it. Quest completed. Let's buy an extra 18 months. And then I've got the crown trade route. I'm busy working on that one. Have a look in here. Coffee. Active trade route. Coffee right there. I've done 393 out of 450 on that one. So that one is very nearly almost completely done. And I've got all the others are purchases. I don't want to be making purchases. Okay. That gives us five years. There come the pirates. Is this one here going to be enough to fend off those pirates that are attacking us now? This is what I'm curious about. Is, is that going to be sufficient? Or are these pirates going to overrun the island and destroy us all? A little bit concerned about this. They're running through the goat pastures. And... Uh, the enemy seems to have the upper hand. I don't like that the enemy... Oh, we seem to have the upper hand. Okay, I like that we have the upper hand. And there goes the enemies that they're, they're, that they're dropping. Dropping like flies. And we are victorious. Right, the attackers have been defeated. Now I've got this one. Okay, we've got the tannery in here. Let's just pause a second. You're waiting for hides in and then leather out. So there's that's going to be hides going in there. Let me check over here. Milk. Wait, what? Milk only? No way! I gotta change resources. What do we, well, what, what do we get? Llamas over here, what do they produce? Cattle, we know cattle produce leather. But there's... Now, oh, right, no, up, up there at the top. Right, meat, hides, wool, milk. I should have looked at this before. Le straight leather off the crocodiles. Pigs is meat. Llamas is wool. Goats is milk. Right, meat and hides. Cattle are the ones that we want. But unfortunately, you don't get much off of cattle. So we... we yeah, this, this 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 is bad. I, I don't really know how to do this. I'm going to try doing cattle because... There. Change resource. If we try doing cattle like that. There. So I've, I've switched that over. I've increased... If I do that and I do... The budget goes up like that. Efficiency is still on 0%. Humane next... Ranch does not decrease fertility, upgrades, manure fertilization, increase efficiency of nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations. This bonus does not stack. Right, well that'll increase if one over there. Or does it? Might be because that one is over on that side, it may not benefit. But that's from the cattle ranch upgrade there. But this is still on 0%. Like, I've gone now and I've, I've increased the, the budget. And it's still saying 0%. Which means that we're not going to get anything at all out of this place. Condition minus 100%. Budget modifier. And it's still, 20, it's, it's still nothing. So that one over there was a waste of money building it. Because it's basically set so that we cannot produce anything with cattle increase efficiency by 10 percent that increases nearby plantations and hydroponic plantations so it doesn't increase us there's no difference i'm not going to produce anything at all from this no matter what i do so we'll change the resource again sheep in here here's wool and milk Crocodiles give straight leather. There's no point in doing that. Meat. Wool. Goat in there. Right, we're going to have to go back to goat and just keep producing milk. There's nothing else I can do on there. Which means that that one was a complete and total waste of time. I've got nothing that I can do in there. I've got no hides coming in in order to actually make that one worthwhile. I need to export 200 leather, which means the only way I'm going to get that leather is if I get it from in here. Open the raid screen. Well, I have no raids going on at the moment. 
Right, so I need leather or hides. I can get hides. So I will go with that one. There. I'll, I'll do a few of them. One after the other, like that. We'll have those hides going. That should get that should get us some hides at least. Which will then come over and be used in this building over here. So I'm not going to increase the efficiency on that one at all. I'm going to leave that one as it is. I've got corn and I've got co There we go. Right, we've done the coffee one. We've got that, which means that we've done the demand. That's the, the demand is complete. I've got bananas. Cotton and gold. Let's not get one at the moment. I must say I'm glad to be still working with you. Finding good help is so difficult these days. Between you and me, your little eccentricities make being here a little more bearable. Yesterday I found a spider the size of my hand just sitting on the chaise long. Blighter probably wanted to pay off, everyone else does. Let's extend the mandate by 18 months. And now I'm going to want another trade route. We've got bananas, we've got cotton, we've got gold, and we've got tobacco down here. Tobacco would be a good one. We'll do 5% above standard. I've got one tobacco place that I will do for a small contract for tobacco. There. And then I've got gold and I've got cotton. So I want to just see if I can build... A mine. Not there. Essential food and resources, that's what we want there. Mine over here. Gold mine. Right, all resources. There's coal right there that I could have had. Let's zoom out a little bit. There's an iron mine right there. You know, I'm thinking that we ought to make use of some of these mines. There's gold over there. And there's more gold over there. 120,000 gold over that side. 400,000 iron. In this patch right here, spot already taken, so it's not even going to tell me how much I could potentially get from it. And that coal over there is 200,000. We're going to 60,000 gold in here. Right, well, we'll start off with the 60,000 gold on here. I'll put that one down there like that. And then... I can either ship the stuff back across to here, or we build a road that goes all the way around. I think we're going to go with the road option on here. We're going to go in like this. So the road is going to go... Can you... You can't, like, rotate the road around very much, but I can, I can put the road to there, and then I can make sure that that road sort of follows the edges around here like that uh, uneven terrain no it's not don't lie to me it's not uneven at all it's just you being difficult so we want to bring that road up here I want to try and hug as close to the edge of this cliff as possible like that. Ah, there we go. Right, we, we can bring it around that way and then go along here. Bring it back a little bit there. Keep keep hugging this edge. That's what I want to do. Road cannot be placed, so it's got to go there, which means now it can run around that bit and then it can head down this. And we've run out of time for today's episode. Even tyrannical despots need to take a little bit of time off work occasionally. Uh, there's a few names appearing on the screen for you from the Great Book of Names. Just my little thank you to everybody that supports the channel. The names will change after every episode as I cycle through the lists. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.